Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at enhancing eyes in Photoshop. This is a great way to really spruce up a portrait or any kind of photograph of a person uh, who has very dull looking eyes and just enhancing eyes in general really uh, tends to give you a much more attractive shot. So here I have this shot and I'll just hold down my Alt or Option key and click the eyeball for the background layer to get rid of all of my adjustments and you can see that the eyes you know they're a little off as far as color is concerned and they really could use a little bit of brightening and I come in here and there is the finished effect. Now this is just an example file so I'm going to close that. Here's the file we're actually going to be working on. Here's the after but I'll give you a quick before. There's before and there's after. So you can see it's just a simple enhancement. Okay I'm going to close this up. I'm not going to save it. I'm going to hit Control Alt or Command Option O to open up the bridge. I'm just going to drag in this JPEG file right here. I'm going to zoom in. The first thing that I want to do before doing anything else is zoom right in on one of these eyes and I just want to duplicate this highlight. You can see this highlight in the eye because one of the first things that I'm going to do after this is get rid of that highlight so we can just work on raw eyes and not have to worry about the highlight being there. So what I'm going to do is grab the brush tool, create a new layer and size that brush down to one. I'm using my left bracket key or you can just come in here and choose the one pixel soft edge brush. And maybe I'll up the hardness just a little bit to around 40% and just start painting in there. By the way, my flow is at about 50%, my opacity is at 100%. And I'm just painting away. So just paint these highlights in, make them nice and strong because remember when we come back in here at the end and apply these highlights again, we can always back them off using opacity. So now that we've done that, I'm going to shut off my background layer, which is the image and you can really not see them so I'm going to hit uh, control that would be command on the Mac I to just invert the color of that layer and it still is not completely uh, as heavy the effect is not as heavy as I would like it so I'm going to duplicate this layer by hitting command or control J okay you can see that really thickens them up and now I want to merge these two layers together so I'm going to select the top layer and hit command or control E merges that guy right down now that we've done this we can convert this to a brush because I've shut off my background image and there's all this transparency, the brush will immediately collapse in on itself. We don't have to worry about all this open transparent space. It will only grab the pixels. So it's going to collapse all that transparent space. So we're going to hit edit, uh, define pr brush preset, and here we go. I enhance. And I'll take the dot JPEG and start off. So I enhance, and we can just say highlight. There we go. Okay. I can now get rid of that layer. Back to our original layer. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is duplicate these eyes and pop them up onto their own sort of base layer. So I'm going to grab my lasso tool and I'm just going to draw a big rough selection around these eyes. There we go, like that. I'm going to command or control J that pops them up onto their own layer, just like that. Okay, before we do anything else, I want to zoom in on these eyes and get rid of these highlights by making sure, number one, that the pupil is entirely dark. So I'm going to grab my clone stamp tool. I'm going to hit my, hold down my Alt or Option key and click somewhere in the pupil. And I'm just going to start painting over the highlight that is there in the pupil. And here in the iris, excuse me, I'm going to get rid of that highlight. Okay, I'm just going over this very quickly just for the sake of time in this tutorial. Now, same thing over on this eye. So I'm just going to click in there, make sure that's completely dark. We really want to ensure that we have a nice dark eye and get rid of the rest of that highlight and there we go so there we have it eyes without highlights it looks a little strange but you can see because we did this up on its own layer if we decided we absolutely didn't like this even though we're nowhere near being finished you see we can just go right back to those original eyes so now that we have these eyes what I'm going to do is duplicate them Command or control J and I'm going to uh, duplicate this again. So we got three copies of it. The bottom one, we can just name that base. I'm just going to double click on it. Oh, don't open layer style. Double click the name. I'm just going to name it base because that's going to be our base underlying eyes. This layer we're going to edit right now. So this one's going to be called whiten. And we're just going to shut off the top layer for now because that's going to be our layer uh, that allows us to duplicate uh, on top of all this. So we've got our whiten layer here. And in order to brighten up the whites of the eyes, that's what we're going to whiten first. We're going to go to the blend modes and we're going to choose screen. Now you can see it really brightens everything on that layer. We don't want that. So we're going to hold down the Alt or Option key and just select the layer mask icon, which is right there. And this gives us a full black layer mask. I, uh, layer mask. I'm going to select that. I'm going to zoom in on this eye. Ooh, I'm going to zoom in on the eye. There we go. 
and I'm just going to start painting with about a, oh, I don't know, let's try five pixel soft edge brush with white, flow around 50, start painting over the whites of the eyes. Now, just for the sake of time in this tutorial, I'm going to fly along this here, really not be too super duper careful, and I'm going to hop over to the other eye here, there we go, and I'm just going to start painting in the whites of this eye. Now, the beauty of the way we're doing this is we're going to have the, the eye, eye white whitening on its own layer, the pupil darkening on its own layer, the iris brightening on its own layer, and any other effects we decide to add all in their own layer. So as we're going to see here in a second, this effect really needs to be toned down. And because we're doing it this way, we can just use the opacity slider and just tone that effect back some. So you can see there's the original and there's with some brightening. Now. I'm going to come up to the layer that I have to copy and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to shut that top layer off. The reason I'm doing that is because you can see now that we have this layer here, we have a blend mode applied to it, we've got a mask on it and we have our opacity set. So I don't want to have to duplicate that and then you know set that back to normal, undo the opacity change and delete the layer mask. It just saves a little bit of time. So now that we have this layer, I'm going to bring it back to screen and we're going to lighten up the irises. So I'm going to grab my zoom tool, I'm going to zoom right in on the first eye. And oh yeah, I'm going to hit Alt and the layer mask icon to cover everything up, that black mask. Make sure that you've selected the black mask, grab the brush tool, that same 5 pixel brush, painting with white, maybe reduce the flow a little bit to around 30, and we're just going to start painting over just the iris. Alright, there we go, really brighten that one up, and we're going to come over here and brighten this guy up. Just like so. Now I will be spending a little bit more time making this a little more perfect, but again, when time's pressing. All right, I want, really want to back that off a bit, so I'm going to grab my opacity slider and just slide it back. We can see there's before, there's after, so we've really brightened up the highs, and maybe it's still a bit too much. All right, I'm going to grab this layer up here, and I'm going to duplicate this, shut off the top layer. And I'm going to set this to multiply because I'm going to use this to darken up the pupils and to just give some, you know, dark edges to these eyes. So I'm going to hit Alt and that layer mask again. Make sure I've selected the layer mask. We're going to whoop, grab the zoom tool, zoom in on this eye, and grab my brush tool. Hotkey is B. And you can see here's my brush. I'm just going to paint with white over the pupil first and foremost just to get that out of the way. I'm going to go over to the other eye and do the same thing. Paint over that pupil just to make sure we have that entirely dark. Okay, perfect. Next, I'm going to downsize this brush to about one, maybe yeah, one, and I'm going to really reduce the flow to something around 10. And I'm just going to start painting on the edges of the eye. And I want to push this up to about 20. I'm going to start painting around any of the edges on the eye that I want to sort of accent. So I'm going to go around the entire eye first. Then I'm going to go around the edge of the iris just like that. And you can also come in here and thicken up some of the eyelashes. So I'm just going to start painting over some of these eyelashes. And even if you just paint where there is no eyelash, you'll end up adding an eyelash because the underlying layer is so dark, it just makes it look like an eyelash is there. So just thicken up these eyelashes. And then here on the bottom, thicken up these eyelashes as well. Now you don't really want to go in here and just start adding eyelashes all over the place. You can add maybe one or two or a few, but you'll start to see if you add too many eyelashes, it's going to really start to look not so real. So over on this side again, just go around the edge with the brush, come right around through here, darken up along the bottom of the eye, and then hit the edge of the pupil, or the iris, excuse me, the edge of the iris, and uh, now just darken up those eyelashes a little bit. I am using a tablet, by the way. If you have a tablet, it greatly facilitates you being able to do this. It makes it a whole lot easier. So I highly recommend that you uh, use your tablet. And there we go. Now, what I can do with this is I can back this effect off a little bit, which I do want to do. Back it off just a wee bit. And then all we need to do is come in here, create a new layer, blank layer. And we just need to reapply those highlights. So I'm going to grab my brush tool. I'm going to find those highlights right here. And I'm actually going to use my mouse for this. I'm going to set the flow to 100. There we go. Flow to 100. Make sure I'm using white. And I'm just going to click on that eye. And then for this eye, I'm going to slightly edit the highlights so it's not two of the same exact highlights. I'm going to come in here to brush tip shape. And I'm going to rotate it just a little bit and maybe flatten it out a tiny bit. Close up the brush panel. And I'm just going to apply it right there on the eye as well. Now, the only thing I need to do, I'm going to back up. 
I definitely need to reduce the opacity of those layers. But first, I want to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to go 0 0.5 pixels. So it's a very subtle blur. OK. And I'm going to try setting this to something like overlay. Eh, I don't like that. Soft light. Eh, I don't really like that either. I'm going to go back to normal, and I'm just going to reduce the opacity. Something like so. And there we go. I can back out now. You know what? I will make that highlight a little bit stronger and apply maybe just a tiny bit more blurring to it. So there we go. We have now edited these eyes. We've reapplied the highlights. And we've done a whole lot of brightening and darkening around some of the edges. You can see there's before and there's after. So that is how you do it. That's how you enhance eyes in Photoshop. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go check out the site. That's www.tutvid.com. Thanks for watching.